essential strength workout. Um, these are essential movements for strength. And the whole idea here is that you're giving yourself the minimum effective dose for strength for an athlete or anyone that needs to be strong and move and do things um, really well. Um, assuming you're doing other things like swimming, biking, running, um, or another sport, this should be sufficient strength training for you. Um, we're going to warm up, depending on the individual, with kettlebell swings and get-ups. And that can be structured in a lot of different ways, but based on your training level and your training age, we'll be doing two-hand swings, single-arm swing, double kettlebell swings, mixing those in and out, and get-ups nice and slow and hopefully heavy down the road. Excuse me. So, after you do maybe 10 minutes of swings and get-ups, and I can give you more specific direction on that if you're interested, we're going to move to a deadlift. And we're going to deadlift four sets, five reps for the first set, add weight, three reps for the second set, add weight, three reps for the third set, add weight, one rep for the last set. And that shouldn't be like a, a dead max on the last set, but it should be a very pretty rep that you could possibly do two reps with. But you only do one because you have composure and you're lifting for longevity. Lifting for longevity. Deadlift, and then we're gonna body row, and then you're gonna flat kettlebell press. The body row and the press, a little different rep range, six to eight with body weight and or added resistance with chain or uh, weighted vest. Flat kettlebell press, mm, yeah, right around that five rep range, five, six reps, perfect here. So now it's time for the demonstration. The deadlift, this is my preference to deadlift. Unless you're a power lifter, or you're gonna do some competition that requires you use an Olympic straight bar, this is the way to deadlift. Because you get about the same response to the body with less risk. So, when you deadlift, um, make sure you're using a hinge and you never jerk the bar off the floor. So, it's here, flat back, push with the legs, stand up. Feels good. That's a trap bar. You'll note that some of these bars have two sets of handles. Uh, I'd like you to use the lower handles, the one that's in line with the uh, sleeve of the bar. That's where you're going to get your best uh, range of motion for the deadlift. So, remember, five, three, three, one are your sets, adding load, always leaving a rep in the tank. After you deadlift, put yourself away, and you're going to do body rows. You can use a TRX, you can use rings. I like to do elevated foot body rows when you're ready for it, but at the body row, you're going to make sure that you draw up slowly and down slowly. Hips are up, head is neutral, up, down slowly. No stagginess. Boom, ha. It's the body row. I like to put chain on, and I really like to wear my weighted vest. It makes it a lot harder when you have a weighted vest on. If you can do 10 body rows, you need more weight, and you need your feet elevated. Then, you need to push. So, four sets of body rows, six to eight reps. Then it's time to push. Today, this month, uh, we're gonna do a kettlebell, flat kettlebell press. And if it's, the, the kettlebell bothers you on your forearm, it's your problem because you need to fix that, and I can help you fix that. We don't want your wrists going like this when you have kettlebells in your hands. Your wrists need to stay straight. So, same thing when you're pressing overhead. You gotta have the kettlebell position correctly. So, when you clean your kettlebells up, you get the added benefit of a little rack walk before you do your 
press. Flat back, zip them up, take them over to your bench. Sit down, control yourself back. So here I am. I've got my feet driven into the ground, shoulder blades walk together. I'm going to pull the kettlebells down, turn the palms in a little bit, drive them up, turn the palms forward. Breathe in down, breathe out up. After you've done six reps, sit up with them, put them on your legs, take them back. So, five, six reps on your kettlebell press, four rounds. So that's the March Essential Strength Program. It's the minimal effective dose you can get on with your life, go do other stuff, but you can stay strong. And you can do it for a long time. So, Rick at elabfitness.com if you have questions. And uh, that's it. Thank you.